make a big star out of me. You know that one, Jim? Oh, I know that one. I figured he was. It's one of my favorites. Hi guys, it's Andrew here from East of Made today and welcome back to the East of Made channel. Uh, if you haven't been tuning in, we've actually take on, taken over a company called Stonemaker. What they do is they manufacture these machines that press stones. They make every kind of a stone, any kind of a hollow core block, whatever you want to do, whatever kind of a stone you want to make, this machine will make it. So the questions we have been getting asked is, is what the mix is. So the mix on this there's a mixture on it's a 600 pound mixer um and what the mix is it's it's pretty simple it's uh you have 60 percent stone dust and 40 percent sand you have uh once you have that for every 100 pounds of that stuff you have you add 15 percent to 18 percent portland cement and that's what makes your stone that's what makes it up obviously the more cement you put in the harder it's gonna get um sand itself really doesn't have anything to bind it together like there's there's just grains of sand there so that's why you need the stone dust the stone dust will actually bind everything together and the cement holds it there after it's done and when we're doing this you don't need a and you can see right now that's fairly dry um, normally there's a cover on this but i'll show you this so that's that's just like sand there when we're done mixing this you should be able to grab that and clump it together so they call it they call it a dry mix you don't want to have this actually be running you want to be able to squish that together Sort of like a sandcastle. So if you've ever built a sandcastle, you're gonna have pretty good success with this machine. It's pretty, like I said, it's, it's a pretty simple machine, guys. And this thing will pump out a pile of blocks, a pile of pavers. Um, you can make these things whatever size you want. Um, like, there's the machine there, guys. It's, it's pretty simple, pretty well designed. We're gonna be doing these things in a triangle pattern. I don't know if this video will be out before or after that. Um, and again, you can add whatever kind of coloring, whatever kind of additives you want to that mix to color it, to make it stronger, do whatever you want. Typically what you would do with these to test the compression strength on them is use a Humboldt hammer. And that would give you, that would tell you how strong they are. Um, and obviously if you're laying these in different spots, uh, you might want them thicker or thinner. We can do that for you. We can do all those things. We can make this machine work for you. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and fire this up. I'll show you what it's like after we add the water and after we add the cement and show you what it's like anyways. Stay tuned. Now right now this whole process of mixing this cement takes about four to five minutes. What just so happens to be about the same amount of time it takes to run of that hopper. These guys have thought of this. These guys have got this machine pretty well figured out for a, for a nice, smooth, seamless operation. You can see we have the curing rack at the end of the runway here. So when these, uh, when these stones come off here, uh, we'll be putting them on the curing rack and they will cure overnight and they will be good to go in the morning. You may periodically have to wet these things down. You might just need to sprinkle some water on them to help activate the cement depending on where you are and how dry it is. If you're in the middle of Arizona, you're probably going to have to do this. If you're in Florida where it's nice and humid, you might not have to. You might be just, you might, the humidity in the air might be just enough to do exactly what you want to do with it. You're going to have to play around with this a wee bit to make sure that you guys get this right. Um, however, it's not going to be that difficult. It's a lot like grandma's bread. 
Once you have it figured out, it should be pretty simple. Now anyway, I'll shut that off and I'll show you how that looks. We should be able to take, take and clump that together. Sort of like a snowball, like a tank out there. So the mixture just turns off with a switch. We have a power pack right on this one, we'll turn it off. And I'll pull this cover off and we'll check that and see how it is. So just like that guys, I would say that's nearly perfect. You can see we can form that easily with our hands, then we go to compress that, that's going to be compact. If a simple tip like me can figure this out, I'm sure a lot of other people can too. This is uh, it's just just like making a sandcastle guys, this is great. That stuff's maybe a little bit too wet there, you can see you can feel the moisture in that. So we may let that mixture run a little bit longer. Um, you can see the stuff around the sides here, that, that, that's just about perfect, that's exactly what you want. So anyways guys, if you like the video, go ahead and give her a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button at the bottom, and make sure you give Finn a call for one of these stone making machines. Like I said, if you're doing a lot of hardscaping work, if you want to do some custom jobs, um, you, you want to make something different, this is the machine for you. This machine will do it for you. You're going to be able to put a lot of pavers ahead of your guys, a lot of blocks ahead of your guys, and uh, and make some good money with this machine. The manufacturer is then in your hands and not, not in the hands of some great big corporate giant, so it's uh should be a lot easier for you. Anyways, guys, like I said, give her a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button at the bottom, Hope to see you in the next one.